Hello and welcome back to Scribble Every Day. In today's episode, it's all about the roundhouse kick. First of all, I have to admit I didn't know that every martial arts has their own unique way of executing a roundhouse kick. As it turns out, they differ in speed or power. And if you want to learn more about this topic, I will leave a link to Sensei Seth's video about how different martial arts perform different roundhouse kicks in the video description and in the info card. And now back to art. From my observations, all roundhouse kicks have two things in common. One would be the energy is coming from the hip and its rotation. And the second one is that the put has an angle between 45 and 90 degrees to the ground. That means I misunderstood the energy line. I thought the energy line has to go through the upper torso, but this is wrong. The upper torso doesn't have any effect besides being a counterbalance to your legs. Or in other words, I can ignore the upper torso and draw the energy line directly through the legs. The angle lag is more a perspective problem, which will be covered in upcoming episodes anyways. But for now I'm really happy with the results. In tomorrow's episode I'm doing the bicycle kick, or also known as an overhead kick, which I called backflip kick in yesterday's episode. And if you don't want to miss it, subscribe and if you enjoyed the content, leave a like.